Hey, what's up, everybody? BDO44 coming at you with another video. All right, so I got two more deals to announce on top of the last 30 minutes I've been giving you guys of these deals. First one is uh, JaVale McGee is going to be heading to the Dallas Mavericks for $20 million on a three-year deal. Um, so they get to bolster their center position, which I think is ever so important for that Dallas Mavericks team. Now that they got McGee in place, Wood in place, I like them a lot better. Um, in terms of their size, obviously, with Brunson going out, they definitely need to bring in some more talent. But uh, they, they won't have size issues. So that's going to be something that you can look forward to if you're a Mavs fan. And, of course, Laker news. Juan Toscano Anderson is going to be joining the Lakers. No framework announced as of yet, but that is per Chris Haynes. So we're very happy to have Juan Toscano Anderson, Oakland native, NBA champion, the Golden State Warriors. Um I think this is great because, for one, Juan provides exactly what we need, which is more wing defensive depth, and he has a lot of skills that people don't necessarily know he has because he's been in that Golden State Warriors team where they haven't asked him to do a whole lot. They just had a surplus of players at his position this past season, so it just wasn't an opportunity for him to really show uh, what all he's been able to do in his progression and development. But you can best believe he's been developing because of all the talent that he's been having to go up against in practice over the last several years. So you can clearly see he hasn't taken you can clearly believe, I guess you can say. You can you can you can fully reasonably think that he hasn't taken steps backwards despite not having playing time. If anything, he's just more fresh and ready to go. I still think there's a lot of development probably to go from here because he's still a young player, but we have a defensive power forward who should be able to stretch out to the wing guard defense guard three-point sh shooters and then get back in the paint and switch out into the inside and guard in the interior so he's going to get more minutes th with us than he ever dreamed of getting with the golden state warriors uh because he's exactly what we need he's exactly what we need and coming into the era that we're going into him damian jones winning gabriel i love what we're doing love what we're doing don't like it love it because we are putting an emphasis on length, rebounding, and defense. And with the type of team that we're putting together right now, even without the stars, even in bringing in, even if we have to bring back Russell Westbrook, I look at our bench and I say, we can work with that. We can literally work with that. It's not a championship team by any stretch of the imagination, but we're finding what we need to find to match up with the teams that we need to match up with. All the rest we need is for our stars to be stars. And if AD is AD and Braun is Braun and Kyrie is Kyrie, because yes, I believe he's coming. Or if AD ain't going to be AD and he's going to be KD, same thing. If they are themselves, all we need is the Juan Toscano Andersons and the Damian Jones and these guys, Stanley Johnsons, to play defense. Winion, Gabriel, play D. Because those guys are going to score. You know what I mean? That's it. Lonnie Walker's going to put up enough points, too. He's going to give you 18 points. Some nights he'll give you nine. Some nights he'll give you 30. But the point is he's going to score. We're going to have plenty of offense. We need those wingy guys to just hold down the fort, guard the crazy great guys that you need to guard, and just just give give Braun as much of a defensive help and and, and, and athleticism uh, support as possible. You know, be as athletic as possible. And that's exactly what we're doing, man. I like it. I like it. We are not stiff. We're not old. We're not struggling out there to get up and down the court this year. We're not struggling to defend the perimeter. What I do wonder is if we have enough shot making right now. Because like I said, we lost some efficiency with the shot making based on Malik going out. Like I said, Lonnie runs hot and cold. That's not who he is. He's not going to be like that. He'll help in other areas. Um, I don't know if Troy Brown, I'm not sure. Like These guys, they're going to have to you know, be shot makers on the floor for us. That's why I think the Kyrie piece is still extremely important because he'll make up for the efficiency we're losing with Malik Monk. Um, and of course, the efficiency is what we need to make up for in regards to Russell Westbrook. So, you know, the point is we're going to be able to defend and rebound. And I think that toughness is going to speak well to what it is that um, Darvin Ham is about. You know what I mean? So, yeah, didn't want to make this a Laker video necessarily since there was that, the Mavs uh, convo at the beginning of it. But, yeah, that's, that's a very exciting set, set of players that we're putting together here. I'm really, really happy. Uh, so that's what I got to say, man. I think I'll do a Laker video of some sort, kind of recapping all of this. Uh, but congratulations to JaVale McGee and Juan Toscano Anderson continuing their careers. NBA champions, both with the Golden State Warriors and, of course, JaVale won with us with the Lakers as well. So 
lot of love there, man. BDF44, thank y'all for watching. I'm out.